Despite finishing the match with nine men, Saul Island Auto Supplies Connery FC defeated Elko Limited St. Peter's 2 0 on Saturday night at the Warner Park in the SKNFA National Bank Premier League. The match was overshadowed with the injury of St. Peter's player Zaja Isaac, who suffered a broken ankle resulting from a slight tackle from Orlando Mitchum in the 84th minute. That play earned Mitchum a straight red card and delayed the match for several minutes, leading to 15 minutes' time added on at the end of regulation. That injury seemed to have rocked the St. Peter's players as they were unable to cope with the loss of Isaac, despite the fact they had a numerical advantage. After the game resumed, Errol Lachlan doubled the lead with a 90th minute strike for Connery, building on the early lead set by Glenroy Samuel who scored a penalty in the third minute of play. Connery's second red card came shortly after the second goal as Captain Mudasa Howe was sent off also with a straight red card for a slight tackle on a St. Peter's player. But the damage was already done. Despite playing with nine men, Connery held on to their two-goal lead. Coach Alexis Morris of Connery was pleased with his team's effort in getting the three points after a disappointing draw last week. He also was not in agreement with the red cards his two players picked up. To me, a straight red was not warranted at all. But at the end of the day, the referee is in charge of the game. That is the way he saw it. But um, again, coming back from last week, I, I come back here again tonight and speak about the officiating. I thought the, the official would have allowed the game to get out of hand a bit. And to me, going to the back pocket for, for a situation like that was unwarranted. Yes, we understand that, that, that um, uh, the, the guy would have um, gotten a broken leg, which we, of course, on the, 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 um, the Connery side would sympathize with him because he wants to stay with us. And so we just want to um, ask him to have speedy recovery and hope that he would return to the game sometime later. But of course, we must say um, we, are, we are sorry that that would have happened, but uh, nonetheless, hey, we just have to lift our heads and continue to play the football. Meanwhile, coach Orville Thompson of St. Peter's said the injury to Zaja Isaac really affected his players for the remainder of the game. It broke the morale a little bit because he was in a in the, in the in the height of trying to come back in the game and you know after that happened it just the, the guys in spirit just drop a bit you know some of them was crying and so it was really really a disaster for us in saturday night's other match defending champions flow 4gk and rockets piled on more misery on winner circle newtown united with a 3-1 win two of Keon's goals were courtesy of defensive errors by newtown where the defender passed the ball inadvertently to a Keon striker who made no mistake in punishing the team from East Bastyr. Shaquille Pringle was the first to benefit from that gift from Newtown, scoring in the 18th minute of play, but Yusuf Saunders equalized 10 minutes later for Newtown. Newtown apparently did not learn from the previous mistake and made the same mistake again, giving Alex Charles another gift in the 49th minute. Evans Roy Barnes sealed the deal for the defending champions with an 80th minute strike to make it 3-1 to Keon. Coach Anthony Isaac of Newtown lamented the poor defensive performance of his team. Them two defensive errors. I mean, a, a team like can the champion team, you can you can give them kind of easy, easy goals. Because it was it was too too easy easy passes to a can player. So I mean, you can I mean, as a team on your tongue, and a team like can you can't give up them easy easy goals. Here. The cool, calm, and collective coach George Yellowman Isaac of Keon said his team executed well, which led to the win. Well, it just was a good performance on both sides, but it was victorious. And it was a good step forward for, um, to make sure we stay within the um, winning range so we could be uh, in the race for, for um, the team in front of us.